Okay, so you've got some audio you want to do some work on in Movie Maker. It doesn't have the facilities within it. Um, but what you can do is save the audio here as an audio uh, only file. Um, so let's do that. This will actually take the, the video, by the way, and just take the audio out of it. So we'll save that as an audio file. And we'll call that uh, Test Audio. Save to my desktop. It's now telling me I can play it. Now you can see that's that little video clip there. But the big problem you have with this. Uh, well, where did it save it? Uh, desktop. Uh, so let's find our sample audio. Was the audio or something, didn't I? Test audio, right. One of the problems you've got is if you use Audacity to clean it up, it does not like MP4 files. And Movie Maker doesn't output to MP3. Uh, so, how do you get over that problem? Yeah, well, here we go. First thing to do is locate your file. Open it with VLC Movie Maker, uh, VLC Player, uh, which is a free download. So we open the VLC Media Player. One of the things you can see on my VLC is I have no menus. So what you want to do is actually switch on the. Oh, it's got the full screen interface. Okay, so it should be here. So come out of full screen. There we go. That's the bit you want at the bottom because when that comes under the bottom it means the other one on the top is active which is the one we want we need it to drop out there we go it's now a full full screen and I've got the bits I want the reason being is the bit we want you can't actually get it from the other menu what we want is convert and save and what we're going to do is add the file it's the same file again so it's that one and convert and save and we don't want it as a video, we want it as mp3 audio mp3 and we'll stick it on the desktop again I know it sounds complicated but you do <laughs> it's one of the downsides of Windows Movie Maker uh, audio audio for odd right, I'm just going to copy that and we'll get it to save it start and I can close that down because I don't need that one and that's it now so I can close VLC so close VLC now and we want to open the same file up again which is on desktop which we called audio something uh, I've got the flu today by the way which is not helping me remember half the stuff I'm doing so it's audio for odd. That's it. So then we grab that and we drop that into Audacity. Can close that now. And you could decide to do many things in here, which is another set of tutorials. Um, so let's just have a quick. We're going to clean this audio up. So that first bit's quiet, isn't it? There's no distortion on that, so we want to take a sample from there. Effect. Uh, noise reduction. Get noise profile. It's just took it from there. So it's got that bit there. And then what we want to do is just control all. Effect. Noise reduction. And we just want to run it. And it's just removed the noise. May not do much to this little clip, but they But that's how you would do it. There is a bit of distortion in the background. Then when you're finished, just want to export that. Export audio. We'll call that finished audio. I'm gonna remember that name. So that goes to desktop. 
And that shouldn't take long to do. In fact, it's done. No. And this is the original audio. So what I want to do is just cut that audio out. Well, just delete it. So we've cleaned up the audio. And what we do here is we add music. So we've got to add music. It's on our desktop. And we now record it. Uh, I didn't save it, did it? What did I call it again? Uh, I did say I wasn't doing too well with the flu today. Finished audio. There you go. And that's dropped that audio in there. So that's how you can take the audio out, clean it up, then drop it back in. Thanks for watching.